Students, I take this opportunity to welcome you once again to our grammar lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about present, past, and future tenses. This presentation is brought to you by Mr. Abdallah Siabide and Mr. Ahmad Hassan. Welcome. Tenses. Learning objectives. Our first learning objective is after completing this lesson, you will be able to one define the types of simple tenses. Create sentences using simple tenses. Identify the types of simple tenses. Comprehend the rules to change the tenses of the verb from present to the past. Finally, form the future tenses of the verbs. A tense of a verb tells when action happens. It also tells you what somebody or something does or has done. Now, students, there are, there are three types of simple tenses. One, simple present tense. Two, simple past tense. And three, simple future tense. These are the three tenses that you need to know. Now, look at, uh, now, let's look at uh, the first uh, tense, which is a simple present tense. As a present tense, it tells about actions that is happening now. It is uh, formed by adding S to the base form of the verb for third person singular and other singular nouns. So in for third person singular, you can use a pronoun such as he, she, or it to replace the nouns. In a sentence, the present tense verb may look like this. My family lives in Riyadh. The word lives is a, is a verb and it is in present tense. We, we added S on the normal uh, verb live to make it a present. Fuad really, sorry, Fuad really wants a hot summer. Once is a present tense verb. On in the table, on the far end also, does help you to understand how to use both the pronouns and the verbs in the present tense. Present tense S, S, H, H, S, and L, Y, ETC is formed by adding ES. To the base form of the verb for third person singular nouns. So in a table you may find it being used like he stroke she stroke it watches. So the verb is watch. If we add on es it becomes watches in the present uh, tense. Example in a sentence he watches the match every day. So that is how the present tense uh, verb is formed. Simple past tense. The past verb tells about action that has already happened. It is usually formed by adding D or ED to the, to the base of the verb. We add D if the verb ends in E, 
or you can choose to drop e and then add ed verbs that ends with one vowel followed by one consonant you will double the consonant before adding ed and we are going to see uh, this kind of uh, uh, the verbs in the next slide Verbs that end with a consonant followed by Y, change the Y to I before adding ED. As in the table, you can see we, we have listed the pronouns as our subjects and how they, they, they take the verbs in the past tense. Like I will take, we will look, I, you, uh, he, she, it, we, and they, they will not have any change, uh, any changes in uh, the, um, the past tense with the, with the D or ED. But the, those sentences, the, those verbs that ends with the Y and the letter before is a consonant, you'll have to change Y to I, then add on ED. Likewise, those verbs that uh, ends with a, a, a consonant and before it is it is a vowel, we have to uh, uh, double the consonant before adding ed. As a good example of a sentence in a sentence here, she moved there. So moved is a past tense verb. They are worried about exams. Worried is a past tense uh, verb, which uh normally ends in a normal form it's worry so it ends with y we change to y uh the letter before it is a consonant so we change to y to i then add it on ed the last kind of uh, terms which is a future tense. A verb in the future tense tells about action that will happen in the future. The helping verb will is added to a verb to form the future tense. It expresses the future as a fact. It can also be used to talk about actions over which we have no control example we will miss jida's hot summer we'll miss so because we are forming the future term the future uh, tense we need the helping verb will alongside the verb miss to make uh, the future tense and that's why in this sentence we we, we did uh, use both will and miss uh, to make our send our future tense uh, verb. Still on future tense, it can also be used to describe things that will happen as a regular phenomenon. An example, uh, the, pl the play will be staged every October. That means it's uh, something that will be uh, happen taking place uh, every year and uh, at these particular months. The table also shows how you can change uh, 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 the, um, you can form the future uh, tense verbs with the different pronouns. At this moment, I would like to appreciate all of you who attended this lesson and if you, there is any question or doubt or suggestion that you wish to make then you are free to uh, join us in Schoology and write down any concern that you have we will try our best and attend to you i would like to say thank you thank you once again for your great contribution and may Allah bless you all.